what we reserved was alphabots uh, uh, wave shares company is alphabot so it provided a documentation on on their website so like it also provided some demo codes so first get and tweak them and find what else can be configured and what are the pins mapped to the sensors like in this way it is easily possible to learn about hardware Uh, for the functional weeding or sewing mechanism uh, the robot has to deal with uh, tri- triaxial movements and uh, w- uh, when we are dealing with triaxial movements the body structure should be rigid the movement in one axis should not affect the other axis uh, and the arm should reach uh, the vicinity uh, any point in its vicinity with ease without disturbing the actual position of the arm relating to the axis like if i move in x axis the y position should not change or it should not disturb the y the uh, the issue we face is we designed an uh, structure of a mechanism which is not rigid enough uh, one moment uh, moment in one axis is affecting the moment in other axis that's why the design we can say it's fail yantra with a wikipedia because uh, every year the themes which are uh, displayed in the yantra website are uh, never seen uh, never seen because the programming languages and new technologies these are because we never seen in our academics and all because they are very new to us and they are very fun to implement don't let live wires touch this should be <laughs> very basic but uh, it took us some time to figure out that live wires were touching i mean dealing with live wires and all it got a little bit messy once uh, when you know uh, the three wires for the servo like we connected a ground to a 5 volt pin once which uh, caused a little bit of smoke to rise from the board which was a little bit dangerous if you're using wire extenders which uh, we did quite a lot please 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 check how tight your connections are otherwise you will start a run like us and figure out that the sirr sensor is not connected properly so it's not detecting the plant i was looking for internship summer internships for this year so i came across a robotics company in pune named unbox robotics so in their career options for internships it uh, along with the prerequisites uh it was written that if you have participated in competitions like yantra it would be helpful to get that internship so basically you stand apart from the rest of the crowd if you have participated in yantra the, uh, the balancing part of the dairy bike uh, when we were, we were not very sure whether the correction was taking place accurately we just print out the values and see whether the the uh, the correction is getting more sharp or it is very, whether it's very slow so something like that we did so printing out values and checking that would be a good option if you have too many approaches towards solving a particular problem in a in a code then you can uh, try out everything by commenting the other parts and running the uh, one that you are about to check now so that that's a uh, common things that we do while debugging so here is control boot camp uh, playlist this is uh, what we were learning in our semester at that time in linear algebra this uh, same eigen value stability matrix and so it was very in, actually uh, quite enlightening to see that those concepts uh, being applied to a uh, actual practical thing that we were building this is the research paper that we cited mainly uh, we went through a couple of them but this one was the one which was most similar to our theme so it read through how they had designed their bike where they talked about the com where it should be kept uh, why they kept the reaction wheel lower their control system and electronics design and uh, finally how they actually modeled the system and uh, found out the uh, uh, k values for the lqr controller there is this uh, one when you mentioned video game there's actually this one uh, video game series called uh, dark souls so the main aim of the that series is to have uh, it is a very challenging and tough game so those games are meant to be very challenging and tough and that is their usp So the dilemma is that why would people even buy them? Why would we want to put ourselves through uh, such a long journey to such uh, tough things? We just want to enjoy a game, right? But people still buy the games, and it is one of the most popular series because when you overcome a tougher challenge, the satisfaction is that much higher rather than overcoming a simpler challenge. So I would say that is what E Antra 
I would say it, it represents that for me. That even though it's a six-month-long competition, and we knew that it would affect our pointers, and it did at till some extent. But I, I don't think it matters because the learning we gained was uh, much better. Uh, and there were some sacrifices we had to make, some events we did we couldn't attend, and stuff like that. But I would say that the satisfaction of coming to the finals and being here today is like it, the satisfaction outweighs all that, whatever it was.